You know, if I was ever to have a drag persona, if I was ever willing to, you know, go through all the beautification necessary to make that happen, because I'm a fucking mess of a human being, uh, I would probably do it in that old, you know, 30-something who sounds like a 50-something because of a smoker's voice. I don't know, that's just me. Just, just trying to ham up the fact that it's not really me. Hello, darling. How are you? I'm doing fine, gorgeous. Oh, it's, it's so wonderful to be me. <laughs> I don't know. It just came to my head. I was like, fuck it. <laughs> That's my intro. Why not? Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with another episode of Kitty Powers Matchmaker. Alrighty, when we left off, we had blown through a lot of couples, and I had uh, goofed up more than once. <laughs> if I remember that recording session right, I uh, I was a little over eager with one, and the other one uh, just had a dismal date that went badly but they eventually found love in the end or so i hope we have a couple of letters in the mailbox we'll see how it actually went all right sarah nibblehoff that's the name okay let's check on her oh frankie and i are still an item and we've tied the knot you both really love CGI effects. We're so happy I can easily live with his love of growing flowers. I told one or two little fibs, but I feel like it was for the greater good. We're like so fabulously well matched. It's like a fairy tale ending. Sarah and Frankie. Aww. That's adorable. I still don't like your mustache that you grew out of nowhere, Frankie, but at least it worked out. At least it worked out. Yay. All right. So, since they come in twos, the good news and the bad news, let's, uh, check Tyrone Masterwald. It worked out! That's the first time we've got two working out. It's great. It's great. Oh, I forgot that, uh, Tyrone was a uh, robot talker. Greetings, Thomas. Siegfried and I are still in a relationship and sharing accommodation. We both enjoy conspiracy theories together. Our union is so total that I can easily abide its infatuation with decadence. I don't think that can really be considered an infatuation, more of a, a preferred lifestyle. But, uh, sure, you do you, but. The most pleasing thing is that I was completely honest with him. Our happiness levels are high and still increasing. Why do I sound like Greg Proops? <laughs> Why do I sound like Greg Proops? Okay, well, that's a thing I learned about myself today. All right, cool. Two wins. Two in the win column. Fuck yeah. All right, so. Oh, wait, I'm supposed to cut down on the swearing in the beginning of the videos. Heck yeah! There we go. If I want to be advertiser friendly, I have to cut down on the swearing in my videos. <laughs> okay, so, let us check up on the next couples we might set up. Pay attention to your waiter's appearance. You might need to remember it later. Why do I keep doing that? Later. I keep doing it French. Ah. Later. Uh, let's see. I like the look of your... I like the look of your doings here. I like the cut of your jib. Let's go with you. I'm Thea. I think that's how you pass, right? An indie music promoter. And I'm looking for a man. All right. Cool. Hi there. I'm Thea. You have... You have quite the look there, girl. I'm... Like shit. <laughs> Uh, all right. I'm an indie producer and I'm looking for a man. All right. I'm well into cosplay, paintballing, and spending money. <laughs> I don't think spending money, again, I don't think spending money is as much an interest as it is a lifestyle, but okay. <laughs> Fair enough. As long as you're cosplaying and paintballing while you're doing it, I guess you're going to be fine. 
Okay. <laughs> you live for blue eyes and blue hair. What a combo, girl. What a combo. <laughs> what the wombo combo. Methodical and spicy. So, BDSM? That was a bad joke. I should shoot myself for that. Where's my gun? All right. <laughs> Can you find me my dream date? That's a classic edgy type right there. Uh, edgy type. Yeah, I was getting a bit of that feel. Uh, Evan Redlong, exotic dancer. Oh, my. Well, you have the blue hair she's looking for. Let's look at Scorpio. That looks like a match. That looks like a maybe match. And, uh, I mean, both the, uh, both the professions are two stars. That's probably a good thing. Let's check everything else. You like her black hair. She likes your blue hair. Good. Evan Redlong likes uniforms. Cosplay can involve uniforms. Lion taming. All right. It's, it's, it's spending money. <laughs> sure. And doing magic tricks. Sometimes can involve paintball. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I'm trying to. It's spending money in all of them. Let's be honest here. And we don't know enough about your personality. But I'm going to assume... I'm going to assume you're an edgy type just purely based on your jacket. Is that wrong? Yes. Do I care? Also, no. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's see how this works out. All right, so... I'm not even going to pay attention. I'm going to select one at random. Somehow got the American one anyway. Bring me a doggy bag. All right. Well, I can definitely try. All right, since everything works out good and I'm not willing to do much else in regards to this, uh... Yeah. Well, I mean, I, eventually I can get the stylist, but for right now, I think we're good. I think we're good. Girl, I think we're good, so we're going to move on to that date now. I have cold coffee this time. Oh, it's raining, so bad weather. Gotcha. This is, like, so exciting. Yeah, about that. The rain would probably put a damper on it a little bit. Also, I like rain. Why is it considered bad weather, even though I like rain? I, I'm, mm, I'm a weird person, but also they're weird. Anyway. Hi, are you, Evan? Uh, mm. Correct. Oh, God. I would therefore suggest you must be Thea. <laughs> so fab to meet you. This could be the start of something special. Here's uh, hoping. Mm -hmm. This eating establishment is more than satisfactory. What? I keep going Greg Proops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's had like rave reviews. I'm living for your blue hair. It is merely light reflected in a particular wavelength, but thanks. Your follicle coloration is pleasing to me. Thanks, that's well kind of you. Hi there. Hmm. Good evening, may I take your order? Yeah, totes. So what's on your food radar? I would like to ingest a hot fish dish. Alright, so I'm assuming seafood gumbo. I'm assuming. I should probably check if it's hot. <laughs> Spicy seafood stew. Does spicy count as hot? Or, I mean, she also said stew. So, I guess it should be warm. All right, let's go for it. I'll have two seafood gumbo, if you don't mind. A wonderful choice. Excellent, it sounds deliciously edible. Sure does, delicious Rooney. Oh, I'm going to hate myself after the end of this episode. Okay, uh, horoscope? The horoscope matches, if I recall correctly. So, are you into horoscopes? They are not completely without merit. Girl, you're fucking me here. You're busting my balls, girl. Fuck. All right. Lie. We're gonna lie. We're gonna lie because this is the only real good thing 
we got going thus far. And looks like we're going to get away with it. Wow. Nice. <laughs> I think they're like spot on. <laughs> awesome. We're like totally both into them. My zodiacal sign is Scorpio. What is yours? I'm actually Pisces. Is that a thing? Our star signs are completely in tune. Wow, that's astrologically amazeballs. Okay. All right. Dinner is served. Why do I go with that accent? The love handle. All right. Ooh. Well, I mean, we should probably figure this out sooner than later. Spicy. Mm. On Valentine's Day, do you buy your loved one mm. a bunch of roses mm. or some massage oil? Mm. Let me think about that. Yeah. Some massage oil. Ooh. Well, that worked out beautifully. What is your answer to the same mm. question? Oh, some massage oil for sure. Mm. Our sauciness is at parody. <laughs> Our sauciness is at parody. I had to do it in the right accent and hurt my soul doing so. <coughs> Ahem, can I interest you in something from the dessert trolley? Oh, <laughs> yeah. I am not sure, but I'm willing to risk the sugary impact on my BMI. Um, um, I'm not sure why I went surgery there, but also that... Sure, okay. I shall fetch the trolley immediately. Oh well, bang goes the waistline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's a hell of a line. Ah, the desserts have arrived, and they all look so edible. Mm. Okay, so cheese board. That's not dessert. That is not dessert. In fact, only one of those was technically a dessert. The fourth one. Okay. Uh, the fourth one was tea, if I remember right. Wasn't it? We'd totally like a portion of tea, please. An inspired choice. I have not experienced anticipative salivation like this before. All right, calm down, bud. You're using the big words on us. Also, you can if you are about to do sour foods. Or at least I can, when I notice. Anticipative salivation. It's a hell of a lot of big words there, bud. Coffee. Down, not on my table. All right. Actually, I should open up my other one. Give me a second, folks. This can took quite a beating and a half, I noticed. Yeesh. Well, I'm adjusting it now. Either way. <laughs> I, like, totally knew they'd pick that one. No, you didn't. <sighs> All right, time for one more. Let's see how it goes. <sighs> These are not substantial enough. Let's go with facial decor. <laughs> so, what do you reckon to my Phoenix makeup? <laughs> I am of the opinion that it is fantastic. <laughs> Thanks, I did it spesh for yous. Please don't say spesh. I'm Never say spesh. I'm made up about that. Damn it, kitty. Damn it, kitty. The bad puns are me. Mm. Okay. And what of my clean shaven face? Ooh. I dislike it. We've already lied once. Let's do another. Mm. Screw it. Uh-oh. This is not gonna go well. Uh oh. Mm. Cheat time. Please. Please. No, 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 no. Come on. Ah. Oh my god, yes, you look totally good. They are not skilled at lying. Oh, Fab, the chef's coming over to say hi. Oh god. <laughs> you guys share the same hair, are you siblings? Maybe? No, that's stupid. That's stupid. Uh, good evening. I hope everything is to your satisfaction. <laughs> Affirmative. Yeah. It was full of nutritional goodness. <laughs> so what was it like? Well, so what was it that you liked about it? Feel free to exaggerate wildly. 
Um, uh. All right. Do you have any thoughts on this matter? Uh, I guess I have to. Uh, let's hope I don't screw it up again. Okay. It had an indescribably delicious underbelly. It had an amazingly taste delicious aftertaste. It was awesomely and artistically well presented. It had a texture of creamy loveliness. It had a visionary and playful moistness. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wonderful, I'm delighted to hear that. Your knowledge on the subject is beyond reproach. Ooh, thanks. I like to think I'm a bit of a foodie. Food is fabulous. The staff are urging us to leave. Yeah, I'm down with that. Well, this went pretty well. I think they're absolutely gorge. Uh. Should we play it safe or go for the gold here? Last time I went for the gold, it failed, so... Uh, we've been caught in a lie once. And we already lied another time. Let's, let's play it safe. Can I see you again? Do you want to see me again? <laughs> Affirmative. My enjoyment levels are at maximum. Amaze balls. This is, like, so exciting. I only now realize I just put myself through making that voice a million more times. Oh, joy. Okay. Relationship has grown. Awesome. Good. You're doing well. Oh, joy. Okay. Well, this could be going worse. Let's go for another round. Another quick date that hopefully will not end up badly. <sighs> Please send me on another date with Evan while I was planning on it, girl. Please calm down a little bit. Already discussed horoscopes, spiciness, and Facial decorations. Yeah, that's pretty much what that's for. I had to double check in my brain. Um, I'm thinking I should spend some money on other things, but I think we're good. Mm. I think we're good for now. Okay, I have no idea where everything went. Um... Good. Okay. Mario's Mansion, <laughs> hey? That's a fancy choice. Yeah, slightly. Slightly fancy. Okay, let's get going. All right. Oh, nice, quiet, non-rainy evening. I'm totally, I'm like totally bricking it. I'm sorry, what? What? Okay. Alright. Yo, Evan! It's fantasticals to see you again. <laughs> Affirmative. I am compelled to mention your attractiveness this evening. Here we go again. Yeah. You don't need to tell me that, kitty. <laughs> I'm very impressed with your knowledge of local fooderies. It's totes lush, isn't it? <clears throat> <clears throat> Good evening. May I take your order? Yeah, totes. So what's on your food radar? Hmm. I would like to ingest a hot red meat dish. Um, what was this again? Uh. Vegetable and noodle soup, so not even close. Ah, uh, shit, I need to know. Uh. Chicken and mushrooms and white wine sauce. Uh. Chicken mayonnaise, onion, uh. carrots, and herbs served cold. So, Marsala, I'm assuming, is the hot version? Let's go with that. I'll have two polo marsala, if you don't mind. A wonderful choice. I will eat it, but I will not enjoy it. What? Isn't that what you said? Isn't that what you said? Ah, maybe I wasn't paying attention close enough. I don't know. 
It's entirely possible that was the case. Okay. Time to pull the love handle. All right. Let's see. I already did that one. I've not done that one. I have not done the occupation one either. Let me go with the occupation. So, Evan, how do you earn the Wonga? Okay, we're going back to this. I am presently occupied as an exotic dancer. With that voice? Sure. Why not? Earning an honest bob, aren't they? Yeah, a bit. Yeah, you like it? Go with that. It's like pretty cool. I appreciate your positive remark. Are you going to reveal your occupation, Thea? Go with the truth. Why not? Actually, I'm an indie music promoter. That sounds above average. It sure is. Dinner is served. I don't know why I went to the troops there again. All right. Uh, interests. Occupation we already talked about. Let's go with interests. Anyways, I hear you're totally into... Uh, uniforms. Uniforms. Correct. I do have an interest in uniforms. I tried that once. Never again. I'm not sure why never again? Maybe because you can't really constrain yourself to a uniform when you're this flamboyant? Maybe? I can understand, but... Really? All right. Go with like it. That sounds pretty cool. It pleases me that you think this way. Allegedly, you have an interest in... Uh, cosplay? That'll work. I'm like totally into cosplay. That sounds acceptable. Sure, it is. Yeah, wicked. Would you share a story from your life experience? Oh, yeah. This one's well good. Uh-huh. Oh, joy, I have, like, fucking 12 things to choose from. Oh, no. Mm. I used to play Conkers at school. Oh, that was lucky as shit. I had the best Conker in the school, a 79er. Very good. Your story has attained the highest level of engrossment. Yeah, it's the winningest one ever. Right. Um, just to make sure we're going good. Good as possible. I mean, you're already heads o head over heels with him, so might as well. Mm. All right, so clothing we have not yet talked ah. about. I went for the occupation route when we had clothing available. Let's go with clothing. Mm. So, how do you rate my outfit? Mm. It is extremely <laughs> fitting for this occasion. <laughs> Dress to impress, that's how I roll. Sure, why not? <laughs> So, do you like my outfit? Oh my god, yes. You've got mad fashion skills. I am extremely pleased by your kind words. It would be expedient to reimburse the establishment. The waiter's here somewhere. I've literally forgotten what they look like. Uh, they look like Harvey here. That dreamboat hair. How could you miss that? I do apologize. Here is your bill. Anytime. It is fortunate that you correctly identified the waiter. My memory is like literally photographical. No, it's not. Mine is. Close. Ish. <laughs> I've screwed up before. They are closing the restaurant. Yeah, time to make tracks. Yeah, time to. Alright, I think this is good. They think they're Gorge. He's gotta love her at this point. Let's go with it. So, how's about using me? <laughs> Affirmative, you have won my cardiovascular organ. You mean heart, you s <sighs> You unnecessarily big-worded motherfucker. <clears throat> Like, I appreciate big words as much as the next guy, but there's a, there's such a thing as too much. <laughs> oh my god, I can change my relationship status and everything. That's the ticket. Yep. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All good. <laughs> Aww, that's adorable. They've become a couple. We're like totes made for each other. Romantic union has been achieved. Oh. 
Yay! All right, we're halfway to the next level. We're at Minion right now. I can never decide how much to tip the waiter. You won't have to decide, but you will need to calculate the percentage. Well, I'd usually tip a another little more than most other people. Another promotion on you, High Achiever. Let's yep. erect another extension. Why is the erect in quotes? Boing. <laughs> Maybe this that's agency why. needs customers. Where should we advertise? Oh, I need to advertise in other places now? All right, well, if I can... I guess if I have to. Okay, well, uh... Sure, let's get hipster. Why not? There's an artisan coffee bar in town full of lonely looking hipsters. I'm going down there to find some new clients. Alright, sounds good. Um <laughs> Uh good job spilling your coffee all over the laptop. That's what that guy in the back is looking at, going, what the hell is she doing? <laughs> All right. Well, I got a new thing in the shop. I guess I should look at that. New restaurants. Oh, I got Spanish, German, and South African. I'm... Well, we were looking to add another little thing to it. We might as well go for the German restaurant. Yeah, go ahead. Let's go with that. And, uh... Australian. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not entirely sure I should go that route. Mainly because I have even less an idea. Um, maybe Spanish. I have a little bit of a better idea. There we go. Um, I have used up a lot of coins to do that, but uh, now we have more options. That way we not really have to run into that situation of oh, what are we going to choose? There's too many options to not run into that problem now. So, let's see. Hmm. We probably have enough time for a quick date. Probably. Hmm. All right, let's see. We got you, we got you, and we got you. All of them coming in with the earrings. Not that I mind, but... Hmm. All right, I'm Marcus. I'm a pizza delivery driver, and I'm looking for a man. All right, Marcus, let's get you going. <laughs> yeah. Greetings, my name is Marcus. I'm a pizza delivery driver, and I am looking for a man. All right. I'm interested in building tree houses, spell books, and making inventions. Eh... Industrious little bugger, aren't you? Building tree houses and making... Oh. Making inventories. Not inventions. I'm, uh... I swear I'm going to be getting new glasses soon. <laughs> Oh no. I'm so dumb. <laughs> okay. So, anywho. <laughs> Making inventories. Still, building tree houses and spell books and making inventories. Oh, Quite a selection. Mm -hmm. uh, hazel eyes and black hair. You and me both, oh. buddy. Uh, describe myself as carefree and romantic. Oh, huh. All right. A suitable love match. definitely a geeky type. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. All right. Well, at least we have a lot of geeks in that department. Keaton Nickerkins. Good to see you again, bud. All right. So, he's a trapeze artist. You like his eyes, but that's about it. We already know your personalities don't match too well. What? <laughs> okay. 
The trigger buttons do that. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, no, let's not go for that. Uh, Corey Eggsmith. All right, let's look at that. Um, genealogist. Gemini. All right. Shared interest in spell books. All right. <laughs> The Elder Gods. This motherfucker's calling Cthulhu when he's done being a genealogist for the day. Good gods. All right, and looking at microbes. All right, we don't know enough about your personality, but uh, we can at least change your hair to match. The uh, horoscopes don't match at all. The best thing we got is the spell books and that you like his hair. All right, let's see how it goes. Let's do it. At this point, I can just literally let it fly in any direction I want. Italian, okay. Mario's Mansion. My tummy's rumbling just thinking about it. Sounds good. All right, so... I have just enough to change your hair to white. Just like he would prefer. Yes. There we are. Good to go. <laughs> nice. It is quite a uh, quite a combo with your eyes, but there we go. And uh, continue onwards in the quest for love. All right. I can get late. Thank you. Oh. A fine. <clears throat> Introducing puberty. All right. A fine-looking eating establishment this is. Oh, joy. Hmm. Please tell me both of them aren't going to talk like this. Greetings, fellow human. I would surmise you are Corey. Yeah. Yes, I am. You must be Marcus, I'll thank God. <laughs> Most gratifying to make your acquaintance. You're right on time. Unnecessary delay would be highly undesirable. <laughs> Ooh, this place is very fancy. <laughs> it is arguably in the top percentile. Your black hair is giving me a pleasant sensation. Thanks, I just had it done. I do love your white hair. I appreciate you giving me this information. <clears throat> I'm gonna hate doing that voice after this. Good evening, may I take your order? Affirmative. What is your preferred sustenance? I'd like something cold with no meat. Cold with no meat. Vegetarian, so we never eat meat. Also, I hate mushrooms. Cold, no meat. I have no money. Oh, no. I can easily figure out that this would have mushrooms, so... Insalata uh, tortellini. I'm assuming insalata is salad. Um, it's cold with no meat. Cold with no meat. Cold with no meat and no mushrooms. Ah, I should have left money. Should have left money for this. Uh... Tortellini is that fucking... Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to go with that, though. I think I'm going to go with Caprice. Caprice? Insalata Caprice? I don't fucking know. Oh, that's pretty yeah. I'm just assuming that. All right. A wonderful choice. Sounds delicious. Yes, it does. I am in full agreement. Oh, thank God. Whew. Oh, God. It's worse than the SATs. Okay. That ain't gonna work out. That might work out. And yeah, let's go with facial decor. What is your opinion on my clean shaven face? Oh. I will choose to ignore that remark. I mean, I already did, did with yours. I do not like it that much. You're not making me feel good about myself. You just shat on his, okay? Hmm. La, 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 la. Just like grow a beard or something. Come on. Yeesh. It's not that hard. 
Well, I mean, I shouldn't say that. My beard is glorious. <laughs> when it's fully grown and not, you know, out crazy and wild and untrimmed. Um, let's go with interests. Apparently you have an interest in spell books. Fuck yeah. It is statistically improbable, but I also share this interest. That's an amazing coincidence. Oh, oh no. Oh, greetings, Mar Marcus. Marcus? I was about to say Marcus. How are you? Uh, Urk, it is my ex-partner. Uh-oh. Uh, hmm, I wonder who this could be. Uh, <laughs> I am rational and logical as per usual. How are you? My mood has an above average rating today. Thank you. Oh god, they both talk like that. Anyway, this has been a pleasant experience, but I must depart now. Goodbye. Uh, I am in agreement with that sentiment. Goodbye. Uh, so, who was that? Oh. Mm. It's the ex. <laughs> it is my uh, ex. We have not met for a long time. <laughs> That's nice that you're still friendly. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I leaned back in my chair. That was why it creaked. <laughs> okay. That worked out better than I hoped. <laughs> yes, we are both reasonable human beings. Okay. Thank you. Don't ask why that was floating past. It's a game, silly. <laughs> I wasn't going to ask, but thank you. <laughs> Alright. Let's, uh... Go with... Yeah, let's go with that. Go with the spiciness. Because if anything, I have a feeling it might be romantic. After that little interaction. <laughs> when watching TV, do you prefer mm. to... Watch a nice period drama, uh, or watch a saucy soap opera. Hmm. Good question. Probably... <laughs> oh, no. I was wrong. <laughs> oh, no. Uh. Uh. We're going well so far. Let's lie to keep it going. Hate to say it, but we're going to have to lie to keep it going. And please stay on the coins so I can get a little extra. Thank you. Definitely watch a saucy soap uh, opera. You're a real hot tamale. I like what you like. Yeah. I am in full agreement. Okay. Could you ring me a taxi? My phone is dying. Affirmative. Waiter, do you know the number of a taxi company? <clears throat> yes, I do. Are you ready? Uh, uh, Maybe in a second I'll be ready. Uh... Give me a second, and <laughs> I'm totally not cheaty doodling. Okay. Remember the number that the waiter's about to give you, and type it into the phone when you're ready. Okay. One, eight, four. Oh, they hold it. They hold it for you. Four, five, two, two. Whoa. I did not. I did not want the cheat. I did not want the cheat. I didn't need the cheat. The button just did the goofiness to, for me. Ah. Damn it. Ah. I hit the wrong button. That was my goof up. That's it. I hope you enjoyed your meal. Thanks very much. You're so kind. Providing assistance is both expedient and efficient. You managed to type a phone number. Well done. Thank you. I guess it's time to go. It would be expedient for us to leave then. I didn't even... I didn't even need the cheatsy doodling. They just hold it for you until you hit the next button. That's an... If I had known, I wouldn't have attempted to even cheatsy doodle. They fulfill the criteria beyond my imagining. Uh... Maybe... Hmm. So, would you like to become my significant other? Yes, I think I'm in love with you. Task complete. True love has been achieved. Okay, it's kind of evolved past group groups now, so that's good. 
All right. They have become a couple. That was quick. I'm delirious with happiness. I'm head over heels in love. Woo. Enjoy. Oh, so close to the next one. So close. All right. Well, I think I can end today's episode on that good note. Two couples that have managed to uh, find love after, you know, a couple goof-ups on my part and an oopsie-doodle, cheatsie-doodle on my part that I didn't intend to do. I didn't have to do it, but I hit the wrong button. Thus, it let the game let me do it. I didn't need the cheatsy doodle at all. I can remember numbers, usually, for all of five seconds. Half of the time, that's what I have to do at work. So, I was expecting it to be worse. Uh, yeah. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games and... Trying to help some strangers find love and, uh, kind of succeed at that. Uh, goof up here and there, but hey, we succeeded for you.